hi there guys, didn't know you were there. <laughs> hi guys, it's Rick here, hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Sorry, I was just playing in one of my favourite riffs there. Um, today, we are going to talk about basic triad arpeggios and how to spice them up a bit uh, and how I spice them up. So I'm going to give you an idea um, that I use quite a lot just to add a little bit more interest to straight ahead triad arpeggios. <clears throat> uh, I did post um, a minute long video on Instagram about this but because it's YouTube I can flesh it out just a little bit more which is always great. So why don't we get straight into it um, and we're going to start in A minor here. So we're going to just play an A minor triad arpeggio. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about you, but I always find it very awkward um, when it's one note per string. Uh, that was just a, a little aside there. Uh, but I always find it pretty awkward, so I try and practice this quite a lot where it's just one note per string. Anyway, what we're going to do is just we're going to take this pattern uh, descending. So straight ahead A minor, 7. Uh, sorry, 8, 10, 9, 10, 12, and then back up, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of a twist to it, just to spice things up a bit. And we're going to add a little bit of a turnaround on the top two strings. Which makes it sound a lot more colourful. We're adding the ninth degree over the A root here. I think that sounds absolutely fantastic. Really love the sound of it. Um, so, um, let me just play it nice and slowly just so that you've got it under your belt. So, picking wise, I'll show you what I'm doing too. Up, 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 down, down, down. Then we go middle, down, middle, down, middle, and then continue the pattern. So, hybrid picking. But you can pick everything if you want, it depends what you prefer. Uh, I love the feel and sound of hybrid picking, so that's the technique that I'm using for this. Okay, um, great little sounding arpeggio there, and just that little addition of the ninth there and that little turnaround at the top really makes it sound uh, a lot more interesting than just a straight ahead minor triad. So the next step is, logically, once we've got this pattern down, is to literally apply it to different triads, different shapes. So, um, let's, why don't we turn it into a major triad instead of a minor? Okay, so all we're doing is adding a major third, replacing the minor third with a major third every time. Same picking pattern. Okay, again, sounds really nice. Okay, so we've now got two basic triad arpeggios, minor, major. Okay, so following on from that, the next logical step is to create some kind of chord progression. Okay, so why don't we do A minor, Repeat twice, C major, okay, and then we shift here, you've got to be careful of the shifts, this is why I'm doing it really slowly, why don't we move up to here, F sharp minor, oh uh, sorry, E minor, Okay, so far we have A minor, twice, C, E minor, D. And then we're 
Entreprise. Okay, so that's just a, an example progression that you can use um, with this sort of spicy triad arpeggio. Um, <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, the next logical step on from that, what I would start to do is branch out just from the triad arpeggios and start to add seventh arpeggios. Um, what I'll do is keep it in one key. So um, let's, let's choose A, okay? So, um, and what we can do is, let's, let's do an A minor seven but it's got to be one note per string. Okay, so we've got a nice, um, uh, we're using the same principle here on the top to a minor seventh, A minor seventh. Um, let's do dominant seven. Okay, you can see where I'm going here. Well, what about major seven? That's more Lydian because we've got the sharp four here. It works great. So, uh, what else could we do? We could do minor seven flat five. Basically, all I'm doing is altering the formula of the arpeggio to fit the chord type. So this is minus seven flat five, root flat five, minus seven flat three, okay? And then, then adding the turnaround at the top, okay? Uh, what about diminished sevenths? Okay, so you, I could go on uh, all day doing this kind of thing. Let's take the dominant seven. That's more of like a Lydian dominant sound because we have the sharp four in there along with the, flat, uh, with the dominant um, arpeggio. Oops, bollocks. <laughs> Great sound. And you could turn that into diminished. Okay, so hopefully this has given you some ideas of how you can spice up just straight ahead, uh, starting with straight ahead triad arpeggios, just major and minor. Uh, you can do, of course, um, diminished and augmented as well. And then branch out and play seventh um, arpeggios using the same turnaround that we did with the hybrid picking at the top. So it's little things like that that will make the arpeggio stand out a bit more than just doing a straight ahead up and down sweep. Excuse me one minute. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's gonna be a lot more interesting to listen to than just doing a down and up um, thing. Okay, so hopefully that's given you some tips to um, try out this for yourself and kind of expand upon that basic idea. Um, you know, I always used to do this whenever I'd, I'd uh, and I still do it now, whenever I'd, I'd pick up a, uh, a sequence from somebody else or a pattern or a lick, I would completely morph it into something else and start adding notes to it and, you know, uh, turning it backwards, cutting it in half, doing all sorts of things to, to sort of, you know, morph it into my own kind of thing. So hopefully you can take this kind of idea and, and do exactly the same thing. Before I go, make sure you check out my website, 50% off still. It's not gonna last much longer, so make sure you get on it right now to make uh, some big savings there. Link is in description box below. That's it. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you're enjoying your Easter weekend, and I will catch up with you in the next video. Cheers.